Virtual Fracture Clinic. Fifth metatarsal fracture. Hi, I'm Andrew Oppi, an orthopaedic consultant at the Royal Melbourne Hospital. At the Royal Melbourne Hospital, the Virtual Fracture Clinic is run by specialist orthopaedic consultants and advanced practice physiotherapists. In many cases, we can review your injury and provide care without you needing to come back into hospital. This video will give you the information you need to manage your recovery. The fifth metatarsal is the bone on the outer border of the foot. A fifth metatarsal fracture refers to when this bone is broken. Fifth metatarsal fractures are commonly caused by rolling the ankle or stepping in a pothole. You can expect to feel pain and see swelling, redness and sometimes bruising in the area. On your x-ray, we might see a crack or dark line. This is the fracture or break. An orthopaedic surgeon can determine if an operation is required. However, in most cases, this injury will heal on its own given some time and support. Treatment. Once a specialist has determined no operation is needed, the most common treatment is to support the foot in a rigid boot for four to eight weeks to limit movement in the area while the fracture heals. It is safe to start weight bearing on the injured foot as soon as you are able. Early weight bearing is not harmful, it is good for your recovery. Use your pain as a guide to how much walking you do in the first weeks of your recovery. You can expect some discomfort, but feeling very sore is a sign that you should rest more. As with most bone injuries, this fracture is expected to heal in 6 to 12 weeks. If you are a smoker, this can slow healing time, so we advise that you cut down or quit. You will not need to come back to hospital or have any more x-rays. However, if after three months you still have pain or are walking with a limp, contact the Virtual Fracture Clinic or visit your GP. Can I drive? Once you have been advised you can stop wearing the boot, you can drive when you can walk comfortably and could safely perform an emergency stop. When can I go back to work? Getting back to work will depend on the job that you do. A desk worker may return in a few days Someone with a very physical job may need four to six weeks off. Speak to your doctor if you need a medical certificate. Can I stay active? You can return to playing sports or running after three months. You should have near full motion back in the ankle, at least 85% strength and little if any pain. A physiotherapist can help you with a return to sport exercise program. Care at home. Hi, I'm Emily and I'm a physiotherapist at the Royal Melbourne Hospital. We're going to demonstrate wearing the cam boot and some exercises to help your recovery. Open out the inner liner of the boot and Velcro straps. Put your heel down all the way into the back of the boot so that your foot rests flat on the bottom. Close the foot section of the liner, then the shin section. Next, start to close the straps from the bottom. A model fastens Velcro straps to the top around the boot on her foot. It should feel nice and snug, but not too tight. You may need to adjust the straps again once you stand up. If there are any pressure errors, you can add some extra pads like these to make the fit more comfortable. The boot can be removed for sleeping when you feel confident without it. It can also be removed for bathing and showering. It is recommended that you sit down to shower so that you don't risk slipping and re-injuring the fracture. If you need more support, consider hiring some crutches to assist with walking in the short term. Foot and ankle injuries can be very sore. You should make sure to rest and spend less time on your feet than you usually would. Elevating the foot above the height of the hip can help. It is also advisable to use an ice pack or frozen peas over the area to help with swelling and pain. Do this 20 minutes, two to four times a day. Wrap your ice pack in a tea towel or cloth. Never place ice in direct contact with your skin. If your pain is not improved with rest and ice, you could try over-the-counter pain relief such as Panadol or Nurofen. If you are still very sore, consider an appointment with your GP to talk about other medications. After two or three days, start these simple exercises to help your recovery. Remove the boot and do the exercises three or four sessions throughout the day. Exercise 1. Ankle range of motion, dorsiflexion and plantiflexion. Move the foot up and then down. Move as far as you can within the limit of discomfort. You should feel a bit of a stretch. Repeat this about 10 times. Exercise 2. Ankle range of motion, inversion and eversion. 
Move the foot side to side in a scooping motion. Repeat this about 10 times. The model continues to sway her ankle side to side. Exercise 3. Calf stretch with a towel. Use a towel or scarf around the top of the foot to gently pull the foot back towards the leg. Hold until you feel a light stretch. Hold this for 10 seconds and repeat five times. After you stop wearing your boot, it is important to advance your exercises to strengthen your calf and improve your balance. You can see your own physio locally or contact the virtual fracture clinic to arrange a physio appointment at the hospital. It is important that you understand these instructions. You are in charge of your own health. If you have any questions about your recovery, contact your GP or the virtual fracture clinic. The Royal Melbourne Hospital.